top scientist has claimed a skills shortage in Oxfordshire's science and technology industry is already emerging because of Brexit. The chief executive of Diamond Light Source in South Oxfordshire says the number of experts from the EU applying for the jobs have gone down dramatically. Brexiteers insist that skilled workers will get priority when we leave the EU. Our political reporter Bethan Nimmo has the story. It's a giant microscope used by scientists from around the world where vital breakthroughs are made. Diamond Light Source, the UK's synchrotron, is based right here in Oxfordshire. It needs the very brightest and best to keep it running, but those in charge say that's getting harder. One of the crucial things for Diamond is it's able to recruit people with very rare um, scientific backgrounds or technical skills. And um, people have told me face to face, people on their exit interviews, one of the reasons for leaving is because they don't see Britain as, as welcoming a place for them to be. There is a sense of concern in Oxfordshire's science and technology industry. Business leaders addressed this meeting of Oxford for Europe last night. Over the last 12 months we've been making lots of plans. It's cost us something like 40 to 50,000 pounds. There was a shortage of, of key staff before the, the whole Brexit uh, uh, referendum kicked off and this has made the problem much worse. At Oxford Biomedica, 22% of staff are from the EU and the company trades around the world. We are concerned about Brexit. It's very high up on our, on our company risk re register, so to speak. We have a hope that the, the, the politicians will come to an agreement that will allow us to, con allow us to continue manufacturing and, and importing drugs into mainland Europe in the same way as we can in the US. But are companies right to be worried? The future is still bright for science and technology in, in Science Vale and, and wider Oxfordshire. Um, the, the skills that we have here, the facilities that we have here, um, are unique. Um, and it's not just about collaboration within the EU, which will remain uh, vitally important, uh, but it's about collaboration across the world. The government says it has a proud record of welcoming many of the world's brightest scientists and researchers. And this won't change when the UK leaves the EU. Bethan Nimmo, BBC South Today.